Hello, hello! Uh, please excuse any uh, interruption while I am commentating because I am currently driving. Even though I haven't posted a video in a long time, I thought I'd try something new to see if I can bolster this channel. Is that I just wonder if I can just com make a commentary on certain topics while I drive because I drive a lot for work and my volunteer and other such aspects. So, and also I upload some, some game footage, even though this particular game footage is actually pretty old. I think this is before They Shall Not, Com they Shall Not Pass came out, so this is some uh, pretty old footage of mine. But, uh, besides the footage you're watching, I want to comment on a Bloomberg article I saw. It actually distinguished between an actual quote-unquote assault rifle, fully automatic, and semi-automatic rifles. And they actually gave a pretty fair article, even though Bloomberg tends to be more of the left. So, I just see this article, if you read through it, is that for it makes a clear distinction between the AR-15 style rifle, which is about 40-45 rounds per minute, and a fully automatic, which is hundreds of rounds per minute. And you can see multiple videos across YouTube about how stupid people are when it comes to the AR-15. I think that this one old guy during protest thought the AR-15 was basically a 50 caliber. Of course he never said 50 cal, but the guy was probably saying, hey, maybe this pistol, like a 45, like 1911, was more powerful round-wise, big around, than the AR-15. He's like, oh, no, 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 the AR-15, it's just gigantic ground, goes all this speed. And so people are just wrong when it comes to the caliber, speed, and other such things about the devastation of a round. Because the 30 odd stick from an M1 Cran will do a lot more damage than the 223 from an AR-15. Even though the M1 Grand is a lot older, and virtually no liberals will talk about banning the M1 Grand rifle. But I just think. But continuing about this article is that a truly fully automatic quote unquote assault gun or machine gun is actually very hard to get your hands on. And it, as it goes through the steps, it takes months, if not more than a year, to get a hand on it. You pay these taxes, go through these multiple background checks. It is extremely difficult to get your hands on a fully automatic weapon. I mean, personally, if I won the lottery, I would move down to Arizona and I would buy myself some original World War II machine guns, either SDG, the MP40, the Thompson, a 30 caliber, because virtually all the guns I own are from either World War I or World War II. It's just I am fascinated by those firearms. But one, because I'm in California, and two, the prohibit of these firearms makes it very difficult to get your hands on these. Not to mention the cost. Yeah, you try slapping down $30,000 for just a old machine gun. <laughs> yeah. So, the thing is, that when it comes to gun regulations, that's something I am pretty okay with. Not the fact that they basically limit it to 300,000 of them floating on the United States, but if you want to own a fully automatic machine gun, I believe see that California should not prohibit you from getting them, but I do believe like multiple background checks, mental background checks to get your hands on it, but the government should not deny you the right to own a fully automatic gun. As long as you have all the background checks and everything else, even though some of which some studies that say that background checks do jack to Squat. I'll actually be releasing a video soon about my new Walther PPK I bought. An original 1930s, actually from the 1930s, 1934, 1935, was it state from the serial number on it, and it's an old gun. And I still had to wait 10 days to get, actually it's more than 10 days for the weekend and all that fun jazz, so in all I actually waited 11 days to get my hands on it. From the day I it came, mailed in, I checked it was there. They did the background check on me, even though it takes virtually minutes for them to double check that you're not criminal, but that's beside the point. Of course, you know, going postal and all that, that's why they had the back, the waiting period, cooling off, but even though those studies has truly proven that the cooling off period has actually lead to any significant um, non death so that's just so I just read through this article for yourself, and you'll see even those who are told grab 
they're coming for our guns, the black helicopters are coming, type of people. We'll see that Bloomberg actually did a fairly non biased article, relatively speaking, from what Bloomberg usually puts out on these types of topics. So, 